Ted Cassidy was a larger-than-life figure both on and off the screen. He was best known for his iconic portrayal of Lurch in the classic television series The Addams Family. But his impressive career spanned decades and included roles in some of the most beloved television shows and movies of all time. From his memorable turn as the towering alien Ruck in the original Star Trek series to his haunting portrayal of the Hulk's nemesis, the voice of the imposing and unforgettable thing, Ted Cassidy left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. But there was much more to this towering figure than just his acting chops. With his imposing stature, booming voice, and larger-than-life personality, Ted Cassidy lived a life as wild and fascinating as any character he ever portrayed. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the life and legacy of this unforgettable performer, exploring his rise to fame, his iconic roles, and the events that led to his untimely death. Ted Cassidy, the towering actor known for his iconic role as Lurch on the classic television series The Addams Family, had a childhood that was anything but ordinary. Born as Theodore Crawford Cassidy on July 31, 1932, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Ted spent his early years in Philippi, West Virginia. While not much is known about his parents, it's clear that Ted was an academically gifted child. In fact, he was so bright that he reached high school at an early age. However, his exceptional height made him an easy target for bullying by older students. Standing at 6 feet 1 inch tall, even in his school days, Ted found solace in playing sports like basketball and football. Despite his talent, he still faced harassment from his peers. But Ted didn't let that bring him down. He persevered and continued to pursue his passions. Ted Cassidy's journey after his school years was marked by adventure and academic success. After graduating from Philippi High School, he enrolled in West Virginia Wesleyan College in Buchanan, where he became a member of the Alpha Sigma Phi fraternity. Determined to broaden his horizons, Ted later transferred to Stetson University in DeLand, Florida, where he became actively involved in the student government. During his time at Stetson, Ted also played basketball for the Stetson Hatters and worked as a lifeguard in the Ormond Beach area in 1952. Despite his busy schedule, Ted remained dedicated to his studies, earning a degree in speech and drama in 1956. It was around this time that he met the love of his life and got married. After graduating, Ted moved to Dallas, Texas and began pursuing a career in acting. Ted Cassidy's foray into the world of entertainment began with a job as a midday disc jockey at Westinghouse 4 at all AM radio station. It was there that he covered one of the most significant events in American history, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Ted's coverage of the event included interviews with eyewitnesses W.E. Newman Jr. and Gail Newman. In addition to his work in radio, Ted occasionally appeared on Westinghouse 4 at All TV as Creech, an outer space creature in Ed Hogan's afternoon movies. Ted was also a talented musician and could often be found playing the organ at Luby's Cafe in the Lockwood Shopping Center in Dallas. Ted's first film assignment was as a voice actor in 1960, where he lent his deep bass voice to the character of the Martian in the science fiction film The Angry Red Planet. His unique physical attributes, which included his extraordinary height of 6 foot 9, often led him to be cast as unusual characters in science fiction or fantasy series like I Dream of Genie and Star Trek. Ted Cassidy's name is forever etched in our memories for his portrayal of the iconic butler Lurch in the hit television show The Addams Family. Interestingly, Cassidy was not supposed to speak in the show, but he changed that during his audition. He ad-libbed the line, you rang, in his deep sonorous voice which impressed the producers and they made it a signature line for his character. In the same show, Cassidy played the role of Thing the disembodied hand that helped the Adams family around the house. When both Lurch and Thing were required on screen, an associate producer doubled as Thing. Cassidy was an accomplished musician, but while playing Lurch, he only pretended to play the harpsichord. 
Ted Cassidy played the character of Lurch several times, including in an episode of Batman as a voice actor for the animated series of The Addams Family in the 1970s. Cassidy's talent as a voice actor was also on display in the animated series The Incredible Hulk, where he lent his deep voice to the character of the Hulk. In 1965, he published two songs, The Lurch and Wesley, on a 7-inch vinyl album with Capitol Records. The song The Lurch was performed by Cassidy on the television program Chivalry in September 1965 and again on the program Shindig on Halloween. He performed a lot of voice acting work for Hanna-Barbera Studios, giving numerous cartoon characters their voices. In the television series Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles, he played Frankenstein Jr. Cassidy participated in a number of television programs. He portrayed In Jun Jo on the 1968 episode of The New Adventures of Huckleberry Finn on NBC. He had appearances on series including The Man from Uncle 1967, The Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, and Daniel Boone 1964. Ted Cassidy continued to showcase his versatile talents through voice acting in various films and television shows. He provided the growls and roars of Godzilla in the 1979 Hanna-Barbera cartoon series and voiced characters like Metalus, Moltar, and Tarko the Terrible in the Space Ghost series from 1966 to 1968. Alongside his successful career, Cassidy also started a family. He married Margaret Helen Jesse in June 1956, soon after graduating from university. The couple had two children. Sean, born in 1957, and Cameron, born in 1960. Both of his children followed a career in law and became attorneys. Ted Cassidy, the beloved actor and musician, passed away on January 16, 1979. He was only 46 years old. Cassidy was undergoing heart surgery to remove a non-malignant tumor at the St. Vincent Medical Center in Los Angeles, when he experienced complications and ultimately did not survive. Following his passing, Cassidy's remains were cremated. His ashes were then scattered in the backyard of his home where he had spent many happy years with his family and loved ones. It was a fitting tribute to a man who had brought joy and entertainment to so many people throughout his life. Cassidy's legacy lived on through his many memorable roles, iconic voice acting performances, and his incredible talent as a musician. His contribution to the entertainment industry will never be forgotten, and his fans will always remember him fondly.